Uh, good morning, author of the ASNI TV. Uh, once again, I have to speak about our corrupt legal system in Northern Ireland. For that invisible man, the Attorney General, John Larkin, who has refused to meet me on four different occasions, his excuse was that he doesn't meet members of the public. Yet he is a public servant, paid by the public purse, and I am a member of the public. For him to say that he wants all inquiries into victims' deaths, all inquests, and, and anonymously for those involved in the murders of innocent men, women and children, how dare that excuse for a human being even think about trying to get that passed by law. It is no coincidence that days previous, Sinn Féin A.R.A. Jerry Kelly leaked their house papers to the public press. Now you have this Attorney General letting the public know what his thoughts are, or should I say what he and Sinn Féin A.R.A.'s thoughts are as the Sinn Féin area murderers will be the ones who benefit most from an amnesty and walk away with a clean slate. Let me tell them that that will never happen, not on my watch. My father was taken out of a pub in North Belfast by two dockers, both Sinn Féin area members. The pub was packed with people, so these two doggers were sent because they knew my father and worked with him uh, at the Belfast Docks for many, many, many years, and they didn't want to pick the wrong man out. My father was taken to a safe house where three others were waiting on him to execute him. These people, Sinn Féin ARA, say they were at war. My father was a prisoner of war. And the Geneva Convention states he had human rights and was to be treated like a prisoner of war. Instead, these Sinn Féin ARA scum shot 12 rounds from an armored rifle at my father when he tried to run away. Seven bullets missed him and five hit him in the back and legs. And by the way, my father was totally unarmed. I want these murdering scum from Sinn Féin ARA to be charged with war crimes and their bosses, the likes of Adams and McGuinness, and that bond of scum sitting in Stormont to be brought before the courts and charged with mass murder of innocent men, women and children, and also genocide. I'm sure that the Attorney General can sit down with his Sinn Féin area chums and explain what genocide is. This scam is not a spur of the moment thing. There has been many meetings between different parties before John Larkin released his statement such as Air Sinn Féin ARA, whose members were released from jail before they served their sentences for some of the most brutal killings in our history by a British government, despite the protests of the public and all our so-called politicians. And the same thing will happen again when they, there is an amnesty for all their murderers who will be given a clean slate, slate and they will be able to join their chums in Sinn Féin ARA and become politicians and special advisors in Stormont. Then you get the Lord Chief Justice, Declan Morgan. The criminal justice system will be happy. No more uh, dealings with the, with, with the past. No inquests. No inquiries. Then you get the Chief Constable, Matt Baggett. His first job will be to get rid of the HET before they rake up any more scandals about his corrupt police force. So if John Larkins thinks his private meetings with his chums will bear fruit, he's even more deluded than I thought. Although nothing would surprise me of this 
British government and Cameron to push this scam through and save a lot of money despite the feelings of uh, all the innocent victims and the public of Northern Ireland. He'd done it before and our so-called politicians could do nothing to stop him. Personally speaking, I don't care because I know who murdered my father, the RUCPSNI, the Ombudsman and the HCT all know who killed him and are prepared to do nothing because my father's murderers were Sinn Féin A.R.A. scum who worked for the special branch of the RUCPSNI. So it doesn't matter to me if the Sinn Féin A.R.A. scum get an amnesty. I personally will make sure that those who brutally murdered my father with the help of the corrupt OEC will answer to me. The same amnesty will not the the amnesty will not save them. I have waited forty years to see justice done for my father, and I will not let a pipsqueak like that Attorney General John Largan stop justice being done. And if John Largan, Declan Morgan and Matt Baggett are allowing Sinn Féin area bosses, Adams and McGuinness, special laws to kill innocent people, then I will be using those same laws to sort my father's case out and I will, I will expect the same freedom they got. Unless Matt has allowed Sinn Féin area uh, a shoot to kill policy. Now, uh, anyone who has a story to tell and wishes to air it can tell me, can call me on uh, my mobile 07715 921137 or I can send a reporter out to get your story. And remember, I will tell your story as you tell me. Nothing will be cut out. Now, watch more of my stories on YouTube, authorofly.com. My email is authorofferty1 at gmail.com, YouTube authorofferty and authorofferty daughter. Now thank you for watching ASNI. I will see you soon.